What happens if you have a variable amount of signers? That's perfectly possible. For instance, take the use case that uh, every amount above 100,000 euros requires two signers and every amount under 100,000 euros only requires one signer. You can perfectly automate this kind of uh, uh, processes with, uh, with, uh, with Salesforce, Process Builder or, uh, or Flows or whatever. So all of the options are there. But now we want PDF Butter and Sign Butter to also support those options. So we have a variable, um, a dynamic, a variable, optional signer too. Cool. Let's go. Let's see how we can handle that case. We already seen our signing document, so uh, these are our signatures. We again put it 0, 1 and 0, 2. Uh, if you have uh, multiple uh, signers and maybe the third or the fourth one will disappear, then make sure that the numbers always follow. So uh, <clears throat> if you have a third one or a fourth signer and the second signer has to disappear for some reason, let's make all of the numbers uh, variables and make sure that you have the correct logic um, via the, uh, the single uh, single criteria rules to set the correct uh, number here for the it's uh, definitely zero two and uh, uh, and that the f uh, numbers follow up. Okay, let's put everything in white. As you can see, what I've also done is I've added a sign field or has a sign field here and this field we're going to use in our logic because what I want to do is I want to I want to remove this entire column when there is no second signer okay let's take a look how to handle that we go to uh, to PDF Butler now I add a new config type I call it has sign to it's gonna be of a table column remover uh, if you do not see this uh, config type, just write a mail to support at pdfbutter.com to, uh, uh, to enable that for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a data source opportunity. The merge field is has signed to. Um, the merge field remove action is merge field only, means that I want to remove this merge field here um, and leave all of the other text as it is. And then I'm going to add a condition and the condition will say <clears throat> if the signer to contact is not empty, then I want to see this column. When it's empty, I want to remove it. Okay. Of course, now I should not forget to upload my, uh, uh, my document here. Let's see. Did I save it? Let's save it first and then select it. Save to server. Yes, that validates, which is a good thing. Now, let's take a look inside Salesforce, our opportunity. We currently have a signer too. So if I generate, I should nicely see my information being filled, signer too. Yeah? So it's currently there. When I remove the signer too, there is no signer too. Save this one, you would see that it has removed the column and only signer one is left. Okay, my configuration in sign butter still says uh, still uh, says two signers. So if I look at the configuration here, I would see that there is a first signer and a second signer. The system is this smart that it knows when the second signer is empty, it actually should just drop this second signer. Okay, let's uh, let's see how it actually works. So I'm just gonna uh, generate the, uh, the sign request, click the PDF button. So document is generated and the uh, sign request is being sent. Let's take a look if the sign request is already there. Might take a couple of seconds. Okay, let's take a look again. Yes, my sign request is here. And you see, I have only one signer, signer one. Now, so when I add my second signer, signer two, I save this one. Okay, let's do this again. I click the button, document is generated. It's being sent out for signing. 
OK. Now let's check if our sign request is already there. Yes, it's already here. And you would see that now there are two signers. So we have a variable amount of signers, which is good, which is correct. And uh, we can manage that variable amount very easily via PDF Butter and Sign Butler.